All right, so this is a uh, demonstration, short demonstration of the wavetable-based digital oscillator that uh, I designed over the years. A few years ago, I built this board uh, that has a wavetable uh, of, uh, uh, let's say, eight banks of 16 waves each, eight bits. And I never had the opportunity to test it because I built it, but um, I thought that one day I will finish it. and. This day arrived over the uh, last holidays. Uh, the sample rate is variable, and the sample rate is generated by a Tinsley Duino that controls the uh, frequency of the DS1077, uh, which is that's a, the break, breakout board that I bought from SparkFan. That's a digital uh, programmable oscillator uh, that generates a, a base frequency. Then I have a Old, uh, good old 4040 um, divider. So this generates uh, the, all the frequencies to read the table um, that I select with Tinsley Duino. The Tinsley Duino also control the MIDI input. So it's not the cleanest design, but I really wanted to get uh, this working. I uh, did this for my own entertainment. Obviously, this can be done uh, in a much simpler way today. Probably everything you can do inside the Tinsley Duino. Um, but I really wanted to um, go through the steps that um, 20, 20 years, 30 years ago were done with um, uh, the monowave and uh, PPG uh, wave term and wave station. Those are uh, synthesizers from the 80s. So again, this was my own entertainment, not the cleanest design, but it works. I'm going to give you an example of uh, what uh, to expect from sounds. So this is a uh, simple sound in the first bank. And it's just a regular sine wave, and um, within the, once I have the sine wave, I can scan the same the uh, the same bank, and I get the different sound of the same bank. So basically, as I move through the table, um, I increase the harmonics of the bass sound. So each uh, each sound start with the first bank the first wave in the bank and then uh, if you scan the bank you get different harmonics more and more rich harmonics richer and richer harmonics so this is another bank I can scan so as you can see I as I scan the bank the frequency content changes just to give different different timbers different uh, color to the signal this is another bank that I'm scanning right now. There's, there's more richer, much richer sound with uh, lots of harmonics. It's a bank that starts with their traditional square wave, even though this is not clean because I'm getting the signals from one capacitor in the output stage. But this is basically a square, square wave that changes as I scan the bank. Okay, so I use the Arturia uh, controller and I used a couple of parameters to change uh, to change the banks and that's what I'm using to scan. The tuning was done, uh, it took a while because I had to basically convert the frequencies of the DS1077 uh, in frequencies that uh, uh, were basically tuned for the uh, chromatic scale. This is it, next step, there are a lot of things that I can do now that I have the, uh, the assembly, <laughs> the board completed, but um, uh, inside the case everything is nice and, and uh, sturdy now, but now that I have this I can program the Tinsy Duino to do the um, an ADSR, uh, tag decay system release controls, as well as a portamento, and that can be done completely in software. That would be my next step. But I feel good that uh, this, uh, this design is now completed and ready to be put in a case.